looks like. It's going to be a threepence. But it is too worn down to actually make out what it is. Or what year it is. Um, but if that is what I think it is, that is going to be a threepence. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in this video. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Total Coins. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Total Coins. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing another pre-decimal coin hunt. We've still got our tub here full of pre-decimal coins that we're gonna be going through, looking to fill up some empty slots in our album. And as you can see, the tub is getting very, very low. So we're now starting to see a lot more of the bottom. So hopefully it won't be too much longer until we're able to refill it. But what we'll do is let's crack on and see what we can find. So we will start off with a George V. Is a farthing from 1932. Very nice, nice one to get started. So I do need, and I said it on the last couple of videos, but I do need to start remembering what years we're missing in the farthings. Now hopefully, we will have as uh, good a luck as we did on the last hunt. See, those two Victorian farthings were absolutely stunning. So, next up, we've got a new half penny. And it is a 1980. So, not a year that we see too many of. But, not in great condition, this one. Quickly follow that up with another one, so another new half penny, and this time it is. Let's see if we can see it. A 1973, I think. No, 1975. Yeah, it's the only thing I don't like about the uh, the new half pennies is that the date is always really hard to see. We've then got a George the Sixth half penny from 1944. Another George the Sixth farthing. Uh, this time from 1948. No, sorry, we've not had a George the Sixth farthing yet, have we? We've had a George the Sixth half penny. So 1948. Very nice. There is another George the Sixth half penny. <laughs> so that is a 1951. Very nice. And we've got a very battered and bruised George the Fifth half penny from 19, 1924. Yeah, 1924. That one has definitely seen better days. And 
Next up, we've got a sixpence. So this is from 1962. So that would be Elizabeth II. Very nice. Got a 1956 English one shilling. So Elizabeth II again. Very nice. A 1940 farthing, so that will be George the Sixth again. And we get our first three pence for the hunt. So it is. 1956 Elizabeth II Next up is a George V Half penny from 1944. I think we've already had one of them, haven't we? Yep, let's see one that we had just there. And got another George VI. Farthing, and another one from 1948. Yep. So definitely starting to get sort of quite a few sort of doubles coming through now as well. We've got a George VI. Farthing again from 1940. I think that's the second one of them we've had as well. And I've got one that's just standing out to me at the moment. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's just there. And from what I can see, it is a threepence. Yeah, it is. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get on the camera actually. So you can just about see the bust on the obverse. I don't know if you're going to be able to make out who it is, but it is the young bust of Queen Victoria. And then on the back, uh, I think it's that way up. looks like it's going to be a threepence but it is too worn down to actually make out what it is or what year it is um, but if that is what I think it is that is going to be a threepence so from Queen Victoria's era it's going to be 90% um, silver so actually probably going to be the first silver coin that we found on the pre decimal hunt. But just a shame we can't make out more details on it. So next up we've got a 1956 Scottish one shilling. 
Victoria II, uh, Elizabeth II, sorry. And that one's in really good condition, actually. Very nice find, that one. Another farthing, this time from 1932, uh, George V. We've got a George the Sixth, a half penny from 1946, and we've got another George the Sixth. This time it's another farthing from 1950. So we've got a 1939 farthing. So this will be George the Sixth again. So with all the farthings that I'm finding recently, I really, really hope we are starting to fill up the albums. Obviously I filmed um, this one and the last two videos back to back, so I haven't actually sorted the coins out into the album. So I am hoping that we've been able to sort of tick off sort of quite a few over the last few videos. Next up, we've got a George V half penny from 1927. Very nice. Another George V, and it's a farthing from 1931. Very nice. Follow that one up with another George VI farthing. So that's 1946. Another George the Sixth farthing. This time it is nineteen forty five. We've got the traditional, well, it's become quick becoming traditional grubby sixpence so not sure if you can see but it's Elizabeth II it is 1960 so once again same as the last video we've got a relatively okay obverse a uh, reverse but then the obverse is not in the best of conditions
next up we've got an Elizabeth II half penny from 1955 And got another half penny. This time it's a George the Sixth. And that is a half penny from 1944 again. So what we'll do is, is we'll do one more, and we will wrap the video up there for today. finish the video on a new half penny from 1979 very very nice so right star pool for today well do you know what I mean we can't tell what it is but getting a silver silver coin in the pre-decimal hunts is absolutely brilliant. I'm not even 100% sure that it's a UK coin just because the rotation is wrong. So this one has got a vertical rotation instead of a horizontal. And actually, saying that, the more I look at it, the more that looks like a five instead of a three. Actually, yes, it would be a five, wouldn't it? Because the three would go the other way. I'm even getting myself confused now. <laughs> yeah, the three would go... No, it wouldn't. Three would go that way as well. But, yeah, not too sure on that one. So, I'm starting to think it looks like a five. But, not too sure in the slightest. So, that is going to be the end of today's video. Sort of, uh, really, really hope you enjoyed it. Sort of, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And, yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap up there. And I hope to see you on the next one. All right, bye.